Welcome all my crochet hook and friends and thank you for watching Heather's Craft Corner. I'm Heather and this is Crochet Basics Lesson 5 Half Double Crochet. It's important to note that this tutorial uses US crochet terms. The half double crochet in US terms is a half treble crochet in UK terms. For today's lesson you will need yarn and a crochet hook. If you need tips or recommendations regarding yarn or hooks, please see Lesson 1. The link is provided in the description below. I'm also going to be using stitch markers. These are optional, however they do help you identify the ends of rows without much thinking, which I'm personally a fan of. To begin we'll need to make a slip knot and a chain. Step-by-step -step instructions for creating a slip knot and chain are found in Crochet Basics Lesson 2. If you need that extra help, go ahead and click the link in the description below and come on back when you're ready. For half double crochet, you will need to chain the number of stitches for the row plus two. In this tutorial, I am making this 20 stitches wide, so I will chain 22. Once you have the correct number of chains, you are going to insert your hook into the third chain from your hook. The first two chains will be your turning chain, and for a half double crochet, the turning chain does not count as a stitch. It's just there for height. To make a half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the third chain from the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. Go ahead and mark this first stitch. The half double crochet is a bit of a hybrid between the single crochet and the double crochet. For the single crochet, you insert your hook, draw up a loop, and pull through both loops on the hook. That's your single crochet. If you look, you can see there's an extra bar on the half double crochet, making it a little taller. For the double crochet, you start the same way as a half double crochet and yarn over before inserting your hook. Pull up a loop, and instead of yarning over and pulling through all the loops, you work the loops two at a time. You can see that the double crochet is a taller stitch than your half double crochet, so it is truly an in-between stitch for the single crochet and double crochet. So let's go through doing it again. Yarn over and insert your hook into the chain. Yarn over and pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through one, two, three loops on the hook. Yarn over and insert your hook. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Continue across your chain. Make sure you do not twist your chain as you go. Keep it nice and straight. As you get to the end of your chain, make sure you work into the last chain. You'll also see the slip knot next to that chain. Work into the last chain to finish row one. Turn your work and chain two. Again, this chain two does not count as a stitch and is just there for height. Because the turning chain does not count as a stitch, work your first half double crochet into the first stitch. Be careful not to skip the first stitch, it can easily be missed. Yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Go ahead and mark this first stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Keep doing this in each stitch across.
When you reach the end of your row, make sure you work into the very last stitch. If you've marked it, it will be easy to find. Start the next row just as you did with row 2. Chain 2. Work your first half double crochet into the first stitch and mark it. Continue working half double crochets across the row. After you work a few rows, your fabric should look something like this. Your edges should be straight along the sides and also along the top and bottom. If you notice your fabric looks a bit wavy and uneven, you probably didn't keep your tension consistent. That takes practice, you'll get better at it. If your edges look like they are tapering toward the top, you're missing stitches as you go. Most likely you're either skipping over the first stitch of the row, or you aren't working all the way to the end of the row and missing that last stitch. Remember, everyone gets frustrated when they're first starting. Keep trying, it will come to you. I hope you enjoyed this video from our left-handed series, because even though they're a little backwards, lefties are people too. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to support my channel by hitting subscribe and ringing the bell. If you like this video, please like or comment below. I hope you'll join me for lesson six of Crochet Basics. Happy crocheting!